Hello, my friends, fellow entrepreneurs, coaches, and whoever is actually watching. Guys, welcome to Awareness in Action. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe, show us some love, and keep coming back for awesome tips and tricks on spiritual marketing and uh, spiritual law and how it affects you in your life. Today, we are going to delve into something a little bit probably sensitive for some people. There are so many people that want to do their own thing. They're desperate to be entrepreneurs, but they're led by everybody else's opinion or family's opinion. So I'm going to share a little bit of a story with you. We're going to jump right in it when we come back. Why you shouldn't live by anyone's opinion and walk your own path. God bless. See you when I come back. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I, t I said we were going to talk about living by other people's opinions. Um, when I first came to this, I've said this before, when I first came to this country, uh, I came with nothing. And uh, we didn't even know how we'd get here. But here was the thing. When, when, when we had said, when we got married, my wife and I got married, we said that we wanted to live in America. We had delusions of grandeur, actually. We were writing our first books, okay? We were both writing our first books. I'd just gotten a book deal with old books uh, in London. And I thought, I'm gonna write a book, I'm gonna be an amazing author, and I'm gonna have all this money, I'm gonna to move to America, and I'm gonna have a big house and everything else. It didn't work like that. And when we went back home after our honeymoon and we started telling people, especially in my side of the family, that, that other people, we wanted to move to America, we kept on being told, ah, it's too hard, you'll never get in. Um, you need to get a lawyer, you'll never get in, you'll never do this. Um, you be as well just staying where you are, you know, work, work at your doing, build everything up. Da, 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 da. After a while of people giving their opinions on how you should live your life, you take, you start to believe it. You start to think, oh, you know, maybe, may, maybe I shouldn't. It, it, maybe it is too hard. Look at everything that's in the news. Look at everything that's going on. Or maybe I'll never get in. Maybe my dreams of living in America will never come to fruition. But here's the thing: it did. And the way it did was very, very strange. I was asked to write a book um, as a skeptic, really, of, of a certain a certain angle. And the very money that I was offered up front to do that was the exact amount I needed to hire a lawyer to get us in. And I had gotten an agent, so we had an agent that could support. And that is how, basically, we had got here. Because divine law was in operation because we believed in the power of our spirit and we didn't listen to other people's opinions. We, we let God and spirit take the lead. So there's many of you out there that, are, that have, have the entrepreneurial spirit inside of you. You want to do something. You want to leave your corporate job and, and become an entrepreneur and serve in the world, serving in a greater way enjoying your time and enjoying happiness that it will bring you not to say that it's not easy you know by god it's not easy you're going to work harder than you have ever worked in your life but it's so rewarding in a different way but oftentimes we are held back by what other people think we are held back by their opinions and that is what it is their opinions my father, who has passed on, had a saying about opinions. I won't mention it because it's probably rather rude and I don't want to get banned by YouTube or, or, or even by Apple on this because this always is a podcast as well. So I don't want to get banned. So the fact is, is that many people are held back by opinion of others, by the perception of others. Because we listen to other people's opinions and their perceptions, we stifle the intuitive voice within us. We stifle the burning passion that is, that is our soul's expression waiting to get out there and to serve humanity in a greater way that we want to. Because we are so worried about what other people think, we're so worried about what their opinion is of our life that we do not live 
our life. In fact, all we do is we, we are like a sheep in a pen. And we trundle away that way. But to really live your life is to live your life on your own terms. Yes, we all have bills to pay. Yes, we all have laws that we have to, man's laws, by the way, that we have to come under jurisdiction with. But it doesn't stop the voice inside. It doesn't stop that intuitive entrepreneurial spirit desperate to get out. The best thing that you can do is to listen to the voice inside of you. To discern the burning passion that drives you. Because here's the thing, if we had listened to everybody that, that, that were the naysayers about what we should do and not get into America, we would never have taken the chance. And we took the chance by giving every penny that we had from that, that deal that was offered to us to a lawyer to the exact cent to get us here. And we came here with no money. We set up everything. We sold, you know, we, we, we gave a lot to the poor and we sold things to get flight tickets and family gave us some, some help and to, to get us over here and you know, but we had not we didn't come here with hundreds of thousands of dollars. We didn't have a car, we didn't have a home. We had to we, we got enough together to rent. But we listened to our intuitive guidance and we listened to the power of the spirit within us. And then coming here from nothing, that burning entrepreneurial passion served me in the way that I serve spirit and, and the other things I do, but also gave me the, the power and guided me into my entrepreneurial place. And from that entrepreneurial place, I managed to start a business, I managed to build things up, and I had many clients, and, and I still do that. But I listened to my intuition, and I listened to my entrepreneurial passion that wanted me to get out there. And I took the risk. So if you're a corporate executive, and you're so unhappy going to work, doing the 9 to 5 thing, but there's something inside of you that's burning to serve in a greater way. There is nothing stopping you starting now. And I know people are going to say to me, yeah, but there's, we need to earn a living. This is paying the bills and everything else. All right, so what? I'm not telling you just to leave your job now and just go and become that entrepreneur with no backing and no money behind you. What I'm telling you is to start being an entrepreneur now. Start your, your passion now, even while you're working as a side gig, as something. Put your passion into it and your hard work and your time and feel the passion burning because there will come a time when you can take that risk and take the leap. And by taking the risk and taking that leap, you can leave that job that you're unhappy about. You can leave the environment that you find yourself so stagnated in by following your intuition and your burning passion to do what your soul's expression is. What is it, guys, that your soul is expressing? What is it that you want to do? It only takes the decision to begin. And I've got another video somewhere about decision and action. Go and watch that or go and listen to it on the podcast on iTunes. Listen to it. There's lessons in there. But it takes the decision you can achieve anything you want in life if only you have awareness of it and then you take the action on it. Because without having action, the awareness is a pipe dream. Walt Disney said it brilliantly when he turned around and he said, if you can dream it, you can live it. Or if whatever you can dream, you can have, you can get it. There is no need for you to go around in the hamster wheel in your everyday life, being governed by others' perceptions and others' beliefs or others' opinions as your ego holds you back break free start with your passion now even if you're at your corporate job start it now start it learn from the big entrepreneurs like Gary V Evan Carmichael don't hold them on a pedestal learn from them learn from the the the, the choices they made the rights and the wrong way to do things start your passion now and there'll come a time 
when you can take that leap from what you're doing now that's making you unhappy to what you want to do that's going to make you fulfilled. It is not about other people's opinions, ladies and gentlemen. It's about you driving your passion within from your intuition and what is held within you. What is your soul's expression? Go out and do it and don't be held back because greatness is inside every one of us. So go out there and be great. God bless.